So hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Aimbot Allstar. I'm going to be bringing you guys my top five things that I think Overwatch needs right now in the game. Now this is these are mostly just personal preferences, but these are some things that I've been seeing a lot around in the community and mainly my basically like my eight. Uh, players and group of friends that have been playing with for overwatch for the past week and uh, we've all agreed to make this top five list so it's not just me if you guys do have anything else to make sure to definitely post them down in the comments down below maybe you would disagree with my list and maybe you want to talk about that maybe you even agree and you want to add more onto what i just said you can also comment about that either way please do light up in the comments what you think overwatch needs doesn't need or you don't want to see as always you guys if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to smack that thumbs up button down below and if you guys haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button and and without further ado, you guys, let's get into the top five things Overwatch needs. Number five competitive. Now, competitive, if you haven't been reading around on the articles or Reddit, was actually supposed to be in the game from the get-go, but hasn't been yet because it was an accident by Blizzard, but will be making a return in June. Now, I do think competitive is going to be really big. There already are tournaments for teams such as Envious, Cloud9, and other pro teams already on the scene, and there was even in beta. That's how big this game is. I think it's going to be a very, very big leap forward, especially CSGO being in the E-League on TBS right now. I think if Overwatch were to make its appearance, it'd be very good, as it is a very flashy game. Now, it may be very simple, but it does involve a lot of very, very precise and peculiar tactics. What I mean by that is, for example, with a Soldier 76, people mainly think you can just run around and it's the easiest one to be. But in all honesty, if you really want to use Soldier 76 to its full advantage, you really do have to pick and post with your teammates, use your healing, and actually push up and engage the enemy and be able to use their run, which you have full advantage of, and get out of combat as fast as you can. Overwatch is definitely a very competitive game, and I can really, really see how it's going to flourish in the esports community and how it's really just going to do very very well in the first person shooter genre sort of esports thing and I can also see it be turning into a just a huge phenomena and almost getting as big as League of Legends. If you guys don't know the high, highest esports games are League of Legends, Dota 2, Starcraft, and CSGO at the moment but CSGO in Overwatch, I think Overwatch might pass it up just because of its really simplistic and core common values, but when it comes down to it, Overwatch is a very competitive game. It isn't all just about getting kills. It is mainly around team-based play and a lot more of stuff like that. Not just going off and getting kills by yourself, because when you see that people doing that, that's when you see people going getting shot down. Number four, more skins. Now, you guys, I wanted to put this as number four because, honestly, I didn't think it was that big of a problem, but all my buddies did. Honestly, I think the skins in the game right now are already pretty darn good i mean i usually like to play soldier 76 a lot i'm pretty good with them i'm about level 20 and i do want to say one thing though that i do think that the skins are a bit jumbled up weirdly and i think that golden should have costed a bit more than some of the other ones out there that are kind of crappy and i do think that the prices are all mixed up and pretty broken but at the same time hey if i can get golden for cheaper than what it really should be in 1000 um a currency hey i'm not gonna lie or care about it but honestly i really do hope they add more skins in the game to earn and no I do not mean microtransactions. Will we be talking about something else in here? And I do not mean microtransactions. That I do want to say though, get prepared for that. I mean, it's just going to be happening in all the games we play nowadays. Hopefully, it won't be that big of a thing. I think Blizzard might make it so, but right now they're definitely not. We got. We really do have to wait right now. It's only a couple weeks old. We still haven't even seen our first update since launch. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, there's a lot of things in this video I'm going to be talking about that could just change when the next update happens, which could be tomorrow, the next day, or three years from this video going up. We never really know until blizzard gives us the date but more skins is definitely one i want to see i do want to also see a way to earn skins more a bit and i will be getting into this topic later on in this video but earning things a bit more other than just leveling up and getting your loot boxes i definitely think needs to be implemented as well other than just more skins in general number three being able to select your own individual game type now what i mean by this you guys is when you get on there there's only really player versus ai ai training and the weekly brawl and quick play now, on Payday 2, you see and you get in the game and you can see how you can click Payload, Defense, and all these other game modes, when in Overwatch, it's just Quick Game. I really don't like this aspect because sometimes I'm not really feeling the sort of attack and defend sort of thing, and I'd rather just go and pay play Payload for a little bit because that's really my favorite game mode right now. And the way it mixes it up, I don't really like that. I wish I could just have one thing that I could select and play that for the rest of the time being instead of it mixing up all the time. Now, I know this is a big problem for me and my buddies, and I know it is probably for a lot of you guys 
guys. You guys probably go on a, like a nice little payload streak. You guys are doing fun. You like it. And then you go on to defend on a defense game and you don't really like it at all because it's just not your thing. You really do like to do the payload thing. So do I. And it goes for all different game modes, the defensing and the attacking where they have to push to your base and everything like that. Honestly, they really do need to add this in. I thought it would have been in at launch, but more than likely we will see it in the next update, such as competitive. When competitive comes out, I hopefully do see this. You more than likely will, but I don't know. I want to do also see what they do with competitive, but like I said, choosing your own individual game type will probably come along with competitive. Otherwise, I mean, honestly, quick game would be more so a type of thing for competitive, or maybe competitive has its own game mode in itself. I don't know, but I will be covering that topic when it comes down. So without further ado, you guys, let's get on to the next one, which is number four. Sorry, I meant number two, you guys. So now we're at number two, and that is going to be the balancing of heroes. I really do feel like almost all the heroes are sort of broken, and they never really are fully stable and just even out honestly it feels like they just all explode at certain times and they all just go off and have these broken moments where McCree will throw his flash or you know something like that or Bastion will get his tank and even then Bastion's tank isn't even really all that powerful I attacked it with two Pharah rockets and it instantly went down and then my E uh, you know shooting my E at him it really isn't and I feel like there are a lot of broken ones Soldier 76 it really just feels like they're all just on and off here and there it's not like you can just stick to one type of playing style you really do like you know some games Tracer will work and sometimes they won't. What I mean by balancing is I wish I could just stick to Tracer, figure something out, you know, if the enemy's beating me, I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong and then counter that. I wish I could do that, but right now it feels like there's always a counter to every one of them and you can't really just have a specific hero because you're just going to get countered by another hero out there. I wish they were more balanced and everyone could have its own counter for all the heroes. That was there, that way it was a lot more FPS and one-on-one -on -one game, game gunfighting and game fighting and battles because right now it feels like it's just all my team zoning in on one Tracer while they teleport around and a bastion shooting at us for them and if it was more balanced i think the tracer could take us on or just be able to slip its way out of there now on to number one which is more ways to earn currency now what i mean by this is not just currency but more ways to earn skins and loot boxes and currency also i do think that overwatch has something really cool going on with this currency right now and i do think it is a really big thing that we could see later on in the game but i wish there was more ways to earn this type of thing like more so like with achievements and mixing it in there maybe if i got this achievement it gave me this much currency something like that maybe not even explosive amount but I mean at this point they're kind of setting it up for me to want to get the 1000 gold skins basically implementing not really saying it but basically nudging that you kind of have to buy loot boxes because you're not just going to really earn those to get that 1000 gold that you need or currency so I really do wish they implemented a way that I could just earn it and just get it done and get it out of there I think it would add a lot more play value and it really would bring a lot more players back there already is 7 million copies sold in the first week so if we really could implement that I think it would add a whole other aspect of the game and a whole nother way to grind out and play the game and it really would change up things a lot more such as grinding for achievements changing up your hero and not just using bastion because maybe if you could use another character like mccree and you did this one achievement on it or a quest or something like that a contract whatever and uh you did some type of goal and you got like 50 currency i think that would really mix it up and it would stop all this broken heroes but like i said balancing does need to happen in this game as well i hope you guys did enjoy this top five things that needs to be implemented in overwatch i know i really do and i can't wait to see the first update that has to be coming i know there only has not been any since launch and that really is a problem for right now we're just literally seeing plays of the game there are some honorable mentions such as bastion getting plays of the game for no reason people getting plays of the game for getting a double kill that was super spread out and barely even got and it's really just dumb right now those are two things that i really want but they weren't really list men list worthy or mentioning hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did make sure to smack that thumbs up down below if you guys disagreed or agreed with it comment down below talk about it maybe start a debate in the uh, comments down below also make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already for more overwatch gameplay tips tricks news info and content and as always you guys it's been your boy aimbot all-star and i'm signing out peace guys Bye bye